Hello guys, welcome to Python and Machine Learning Daily. Today we'll have another project with data manipulation based on Upwork job with pandas from Python. So this is the job CSV classification output, which would pay $150 on Upwork. And it's pretty hard to understand actually from first reading, so I will summarize it to you. There's a CSV with a few brand names in one row and your task is to split those rows into a few rows with details of each brand on each row and then write the result into another CSV. Kind of splitting the rows but at the same time summarizing the columns. And there are two tricky parts here. First, the CSV is very big. So the file link is here, it's expired by now, but I had downloaded it earlier and it is 134 megabytes, which is if you try to open that in numbers on my MacBook, for example, or in Google Sheets, you will see this. So Google Sheet didn't handle that file to open that. So the question, how will Pandas handle that reading the CSV? Will it be fast or will it maybe break? We'll see. But in order for you to understand that CSE file, I've made a summary of the first rows. So here are the two brands, the list, and you need to split that list into two rows and the details for each row are inside of other columns. It may be here as a JSON list, it may be in another column of description, and this is the second tricky part about that task. There is no consistency and the task requires a lot of checks, if statements, try accept, and stuff like that. The full file is 20,000 rows, it's not that much, but each row is pretty big and let's see how it is handled with pandas in Python. Let's dive into the code. So here's our Python script. There are a few functions to get the brand details and brand classification from row. I will quickly run through those. And here's the main part. We read the CSV into data frame with pandas. Then we build the output required by client. So there will be only three columns. And then we will calculate the errors. Calculate the rows which will have missing data or incomplete data or something like that. Then we iterate through the rows of data frame with for loop and do a lot of manipulation with that data. As you saw the data is in JSON format so we do JSON loads and then see if the brands are in multiple lines. Then we do another for loop and try to get the brand, get classification, and if everything is good, we append to the final output. Otherwise, if it's only one line, then we do almost the same thing, but just with one line. And we skip the NA values because the client told us so. And then as a result, we show the initial size and how many lines were successfully imported and how many errors did we get and we write it into the final CSV. And you may want to dive deeper into those functions of get brand details and get brand classification, but nothing really fancy here, just if statements, for loop, and try accept, and if there is an error, any kind of error, in most cases, the row doesn't contain brand as key, so we cannot really get the brand, and we increment the error by one and print the error. And the second, function of get classification is almost the same thing. If there is an error, try accept and print the error and calculate the total amount of errors. Otherwise, if we do get the category, then we return it to be used in the output. Now, what happens when we launch that script? I remind you two questions. How fast will pandas be and how many errors do we get? We launch and in live mode, I won't even stop the script or make any pause. And you can see it's in seconds, in just a few seconds, Pandas successfully handled 100 plus megabyte CSV, which is pretty impressive. Of course, my hardware is pretty good. It's MacBook Pro M3 processor, but still on slower computers, it may be, I guess, up to a minute or so. So the first kind of question answered, you can process big CSV files with pandas. Now, in terms of results, we successfully imported 16,000 brands, total lines were 24,000, and this is how many errors. So basically, we didn't find the brands according to how client described where we should look for them. 
or at least it was just the first attempt of the algorithm how we understood it. It's pretty complicated. But at this point we decided to stop and not improve the script because, well, we don't get actually paid for that, we just take a sample task from Upwork to show the capabilities of Python and Pandas to show realistic projects. And this is actually a good example of what to do, what I would do if I would take that job. So this would be my first attempt and then I would get back to client saying that, okay, 20,000 rows have missing this and that, and then there are 24,000 rows missing this and that, and here's the data and consult client or ask them what to do in this case, what data is missing, and maybe even renegotiate the price because apparently there's more work to be done than initially expected. But the main goal of the video was to demonstrate you the capabilities of Pandas library for tasks like this. So you process the CSV line by line, you modify something, you construct a separate list of output, which you can then save into CSV or do whatever. If you want more practical projects like this one, subscribe to the channel. I will keep shooting videos like this one, finding jobs from Upwork and elsewhere, about data science, Python, and various libraries. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.